Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordan and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. This reading is general, so if you find it doesn't fit your story, I recommend checking out another reading with a title that stands out to you on my channel. There was a reason why you clicked on this video today, and if you take time to explore the other videos, I'm sure you'll find a message that you're looking for. We're going to start by pulling uh, a bit of advice from the Spirit Animal deck and the Angel Tarot deck. Then we'll move into a 10 card tarot spread and we'll see what's going on. So thank you for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support, especially the comments. They keep me motivated. Okay, what's going on for... Pisces Collective. You don't have to be a Pisces to enjoy these readings, by the way. But I know I know you guys know that already. We have Groundhog Spirit. This card says time to let go. And if I pull this next card out, we have Squirrel Spirit, which says believe in yourself. Time to let go and believe in yourself. So time for there to be an ending in your life in some manner so that you can bring in new energy um, and to believe in yourself, to believe that you can let this go, whether it's a relationship or a goal or a hobby, a habit, letting go of a place, a memory. We have the Scared Beetle. This card says magic works through you. Okay, let's see what the Angel Tarot has to say. So if you believe in yourself, magic work will work through you. That's the key part here. The Angel Tarot has the King of Fire coming out, which is a motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic person. So you may... Um, exemplify those characteristics. Maybe you are very ambitious right now. Maybe you're really wanting to accomplish something, motivated, you have these big ideas. Uh, but it is saying time to let go, so there's some aspect to this that you have to let go of in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish. This card says focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Okay, we'll grab one more card from the Angel Tarot. We have the Eight of Earth. This card talks about uh, the work that we do, uh, our studies, our projects, accumulating wealth, accumulating skills, knowledge. This card says skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic, and going back to school. So it's a card of mastery. And the King of Wands is showing me here that you want to master something in your life. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Actually, I'll shuffle it this way. So your first card coming out is the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Lover's card. We have the Knight of Swords in the recent past. And the Seven of Swords in the distant past. In the future is Strength. We have Five of Swords. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Five of Swords representing you. We have the Sun card in your environment. We have the Three of Cups in your fears and desires position. Oh, the outcome is the Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups coming out as well. Eight of Cups talks about letting go and moving towards 
some type of wish fulfillment, and the wish fulfillment could be abundance, long-term wealth and stability, leaving a legacy for your family and friends, and for people, the generations to come. Some of you may feel like your progress is very slow right now, or not moving at all, and the universe is trying to give you an idea or some motivation right now, and the uh, universe is trying to give you some form of emotional relief, is what I'm hearing as well, in the form of a blessing, something that's going to help you process things emotionally and to get in tune with your emotions so that those emotions don't get in your way when it comes to manifestations. Yes, things might be slow and stuck right now or just and just not moving very fast. But um, you did have a lot of progress. If you look at the relative progress between when you started and where you're at now, things have moved very quickly. Um, but I think you're getting, or, you know, you want more. You want more speed. You want more progress. And the universe is saying you're already going fast enough. Slow and steady wins the race with that turtle spirit energy that we sometimes see come up in the animal tarot, the animal oracle, I should say. And uh, with the lover's card here, this is about being in the right place at the right time, um, having a strong desire with the sun card beneath it, um, motivated to reach a specific goal, uh, for a lot of you, this is also a relationship here, a relationship that wants to come in or wants to be focused on right now, if you already are in a relationship, and something that can kind of balance things out for you right now. Uh, but maybe, uh, maybe you've got something to prove right now. Maybe you're trying to accomplish too many things at once. So it's difficult to focus on relationships at this time. You know, if dating might be the last thing on your list of things to do, or, uh, you know, celebrating, going out and having fun might be low on the list as well, because maybe you feel like you just have to work, 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 push, push, push. Well, you know, the universe is kind of saying that you might lose out on some relationships or some opportunities in emotional fulfillment as you head towards a destiny that is already set in place for you. You're going to reach your abundance. You're going to reach your goal, financial goal, as well as your uh, goal for what you want to leave behind as a legacy. That's in the outcome position. You're going to make it there. Um, so it's time to let go of that, uh, you know, rush mentality. Um, and I really feel like when it says believe in yourself that uh, for some of you, you may believe that you won't be able to accomplish all that you want to accomplish in the time that you have. But if you believe in yourself and stay present in your current energy, um, you will accomplish, you will expand, you will grow. So if we look at the individual card pairings, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Verse, and the Strength card. This is just showing how difficult it is for you to be going at this particular pace that you're going at. You want to you want to speed things up. You want to make more things happen. And the universe is saying, no, 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 slow down. Go slower. You're already moving fast enough already. Um, we have the Four of Cups and the Five of Swords. That just shows that you are... Uh, proving your point. You are uh, winning over uh, other people's ideas of you. You know, like you're winning over hearts is what I'm hearing. You're showing people what you're capable of. And um, there's something here that you are kind of pushing away whether you know it or not, and it looks like it's love, it looks like it's happiness. You know, not that you have to be in love to be happy, but um, this could even be talking about self-love. You know, there's some type of 
area in your life where the love is being uh, pushed aside or put on the back burner and the universe wants to bring this into full force into center stage because um, that's where the real beauty of life is is when you are in a state of love for all that you're doing all that you are and for the people around you and when you're constantly looking at the clock thinking I need my manifestation to come in that's distracting you from the magic that wants to work through you right now. So it's time to let go of the a sense of time. You have all the time that you need to get to where you go, want to go. And love wants to be center stage. We have the Knight of Swords and we have the Three of Cups reversed. This talks about... Um, being kind of intense right now, um, intensely pursuing your goals, um, and uh, rushing by moments in life that could be savored. We have the uh, Seven of Swords reversed and the Eight of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles as well. So it's almost as if you feel like you've been robbed in some way in the past of opportunities and now this is why you're trying to play catch up in some way but um, and that could very well be true in some way you might have even self-sabotaged things in the past but I don't see you doing that anymore. I feel like you're facing things head on. It's like the opposite of the Seven of Swords is the Strength card. And you have that in the future position. And the Five of Swords is here as well. Like you've got conviction, you've got strength. You're motivated. And uh, maybe that... Uh, sour feeling in the past of having feeling robbed of time is what is going to get you to where you want to go as a motivating force sometimes negative feelings and emotions motivate us it's just as much as positive desires and feelings motivate us all right that's what i've got for your reading thank you for being here and i'll see you again soon